this is visual basic ordering system so let me start by ordering the following components so that will be pen so that's just the description right there and then I have maybe two and as the cost plus the VAT and let's say I have a pencil and the pencil and I have a say that's a notebook you have maybe one of those and we have a, a ruler right there maybe two of those and we need to enter quantity there as well and let's say we have a calculator here there that's one of those okay so that's the price for all of the product that we intend to order and right here when you click on this you get the total sum of price there and uh, all you then need to do is click on the total to get the total of the VAT and the net pay over there and that gives you the overall total now type that would be maybe home home delivery and maybe order done by home delivery one two nine the dates then we have right there accounts account reference number if this customer has no account reference you just enter no right there and that's the name of the company there okay that's all there is to it so what I will do next is just take you straight to the development environment show you the component used for the design of this interface then I'll just show you the codes and that will be all it's a very simple program so let's just exit uh, just before I exit the discard button works total works as you've seen and the exit button works so let's come in here all of these components that you guys see here that I've, I'm selecting right there they are all text box okay and these ones are labels as you can see labels they are all labels right there these are labels and you have the buttons there I have a group box there Okay, up here I have a label, 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 all of these are labeled and that is date and time. I says text box, text box, text box. The only thing I've done to the text box is after I've actually changed the border style to fix single. That's it right there. And that's why we have this square around it okay then I've neatly put the text box together just to make it look like a database I could have used a database but I've done a database tutorial and that's uh, this is just different so the next thing I did was double click on the discard button and just empty out all the content on each component right there okay that's a reset button really with a different name and exit application dot exit total with the total I have my local variable right there and here are the component that is assigned values that are assigned to each variable right there if you can see that and this is where I carried out all the calculations the numbers now converted to pound sign this is the formatting system used right there and that's all for the total now for each of these text box they all have a name txt net one and the next one is txt net 2 and so on up to txt net 5 
this one is VAT uh, TXT VAT1 and so on up to VAT5 the same thing applies to all of the components here you can see their name up there so look at their name up there and this ones as well by coming here let's say I'll double click on the quantity that is it right there I have a local variable there then quantity multiplied by the content inside the, the quantity it is stored inside the net and the net is then assigned to the net and then to get the VAT net multiplied by VAT divided by 100 that gives up the VAT and it's also formatted okay and I also format the content of the txt net one and the same thing was re uh, repeated for quantity two quantity three as well quantity four and quantity five now right here if i double click on this i used a click event i've used a click event right here and that is it those are the lines of codes in there that's the name of that component is total VAT the same thing or repeated the same thing for this very one right here let's go for click events there that is it right there and that is all there is to this very program so let me just take it back up the variable declared all the resets reset codes and right here we have total codes right there and here we have component codes another component code right here and take note of the event procedure that is used for each of them one here as well and more of those component codes as you can see then finally the other component codes and that's all the is to it run this program again one more time for you guys to see okay let's run the program again let's say the customer is uh, is buying from inside the store so let's just say store right there there and the date reference no reference and the customer happens to just be buying a ruler description let's say ruler right there how many of those four and that's the price of the ruler right there and that's all the customer just want to purchase from us so we can get the total and just come here press total and that's it okay next customer this card this next customer is buying just a pen description a pen and three of those there okay let's come here total that's it and that's all the pro that's all about this uh, brief ordering tutorial i'm just going to call it bye for now